Oh, no, probably oh. this one. Okay. This one. Yeah. You may be seated. Is that better? So turning to the uh, motion for a directed verdict. A motion for a directed verdict may be granted only on the evidence considered in the light most favorable to the opposing party compels a conclusion that reasonable persons could not disagree as to the evidence or to the inferences which could be drawn from the evidence. And when no evidence has been presented that the state could sustain a verdict against the moving party. The court must consider the evidence and the reasonable inferences from the evidence in the most favorable way to the non-moving party. Here, in this case, I tend to agree with Mr. Kotlochek, uh, is correct that, grant, that this it would be inappropriate to grant a Rule 50 motion given the expedited proceedings. However, even if it was appropriate, I would deny because the motion brings up significant legal issues, many of which have never been decided by any court. For instance, essentially one of Pres President Trump's arguments is that the First Amendment displaces the 14th Amendment, or at the very least, the court needs to interpret the 14th Amendment with a First Amendment overlay. The petitioners argue that I should apply the 14th Amendment on its face and that it is not subject to or somehow a lesser amendment than the First Amendment. There is clearly a conflict. On the one hand, you have people in the 1800s being disqualified for writing a letter to the editor. Clearly speech. On the other hand, you have a body of law holding the standards for finding incitement are very high and the speech needs to be very specific. The court is not prepared today to, con to reconcile those two bodies of law. Similarly, on the one hand, Intervener Trump argues the court cannot look at statements that are in a glacial pace to find incitement. However, the petitioners argue that I can look at those statements for context and to infer intent and a plan for incitement they contend was caused by the January 6th speech. Trump argues that the January 6th speech does not meet the standard of incitement, but then I have Professor Simi stating that based on the relationship that was built, the words were coded. Petitioners argue in incited cases that the courts will look at the coded language when determining incite, incitement. To be clear, I'm not deciding any of these issues. I'm denying the motion for directive verdict because in order to grant the motion for a directive verdict, I would have to decide many legal issues that I am simply not prepared to decide today. Further, I think I will be better informed to decide the legal issues when I have more of a factual context, which I expect I will have after the presentation of intervener's case. So I will address the First Amendment issues um, brought up in your motion for active directed verdict when I make my final findings of facts, conclusions of law, and all the other legal arguments that I need to decide between now and then 